We're gonna be testing out the Able Cosmetics Eye Trio Set. This is what it looks like. It comes with an eyeliner, a mascara, and a pencil for your waterline. The thing about their products is that they all have like a little extra help twist to make it very user-friendly. The liquid eyeliner pencil comes with a little rubber shape thing. It's rubber and it's a shape to help you get the perfect angle for your eyeliner. The mascara comes with this little mascara shield. You open this and use this part as a shield. Brush, 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 shield, boom. Your lid still looks really good. The eye pencil is so cool. It comes with a smudger brush on one side so you can like smudge out your waterline. And the cap actually comes with a sharpener. The trio itself costs $75, which is, is too much money. But Able Cosmetics, their whole pull is that these will make your life easier. They're gonna make your application process like faster. So I think that if the extra help aspect of these products isn't really good, then there's no point to them, which is why we're gonna test them out today. I really wanna see not only that that little extra tool attached actually works, I wanna make sure it's helpful in the process and not making things harder for me. And I also wanna make sure that these formulas are good. I'm gonna start off using the Cat Eye 101 first. So it first says to line the inner portion of your eyelid. So I'm gonna do that. I have to say, even before starting my wing, this eyeliner formula is not my favorite at all. I feel like every time I went over a certain spot where I missed a little piece of eyelid, it would just lift the product up, which is really weird. It like dries very quickly, so I think that any sort of messing with it after it's already dry is just, it's not good. So now that I have my actual lid lined, I'm going to work on the wing. So I have to take the cap off and place a little rubber stencil where I want my actual wing to be. So like maybe like there-ish. <laughs> and now I just have to fill in the line. Able Cosmetics actually sent over two of the Cat Eye 101s. So what I'm gonna do is put away the first one I used that was like really dry and kind of flaky and try the second one to see if that's just how the formula is or if I just got a bad one. Try this one more time. I also shook it very vigorously to make sure that it was full of product. The wings came out looking pretty even, I think, actually, considering I have really wonky eyes. They're a little bit off. It dries very, very quickly. So going over the same line or filling in where there's gaps makes it super, super difficult and it just kind of flakes everywhere, flakes right off. So I really don't like that, but oh, it sucks because the idea is great and it's definitely there. It's just the formula was not the best. Moving on from the eyeliner, let's try out some waterline eyeliner. This is the primary pencil. This is the pencil that comes with the smudger brush and the sharpener. I love an idea like this because I lose sharpeners like crazy. Like I lose sharpeners maybe just about as much as I lose hair ties. I don't know where my sharpeners go. I'm hoping that this formula is super opaque and creamy and doesn't like do you know when eyeliners won't attach themselves to your waterline? Cause it's like, I don't know what that's called, but whatever that is, I hate it and I don't want it in my home. I'm just gonna do some tight lining on my top waterline and my bottom waterline. This is like the ultimate test. Finding a good waterline eyeliner is pretty difficult, at least for me. Maybe I just have really watery lines. Color is building up pretty well. Okay. That covered pretty decently well. Yeah, I like that a lot. This pencil is really good. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over to the other side, which is my smudger brush, and I'm just gonna smoke it out a little. 
tug. Ugh, I try not to tug too much. I want to be young forever. That smudger brush worked fine. I don't think it's anything like remarkable, but it's a smudger brush. Like it does what it's supposed to do, I guess. It's just a little too stiff. It's very stiff actually. But other than that, it worked pretty well. That's a smoky eye. She's smoked salmon. She loves rock and roll. She loves hanging out with her girlfriends. This is like me in 2007, middle school, feeling super emo. Love it. <laughs> I love that for myself. Rar. <laughs> the little face and you like, rar. That's the vibes I'm getting from this eye. This eye, she's a good girl. This eye, rar. The final step in the eye trio is the no mascara. I am intrigued by this. I have tried shield type makeup products before. This one though is a lot more promising. They've never really worked out for me in the past, but this is like firmer, even though it is flexible, but it still feels like there's a lot of control behind it. I don't know, something about this one makes me think that it's gonna be good. Positioning I think is key right now. So I'm just, I'm gonna come in from the top. I'm gonna try to see if I can just bloop, come in for a landing and just go at it. Oh, I like this. I'm not gonna be able to tell if I like the mascara yet, but I can tell that this shield is actually pretty helpful. I can't even tell if my lashes are coated or not. <gasps> I see mascara. Fun. <laughs> At first I thought that the primary pencil was gonna be my favorite thing out of this trio, but now I think it's the no mascara. I think my lashes look really full, but also long. And I built it up quite a bit. I did a couple of layers like I usually do with every mascara I have. And I was really, really impressed with the formula. Like, I think it looks so nice. The shield worked great. I also used the shield on my lower bottom lashes and it worked great for that as well. So I think that this is a great multi-use mascara. I really, really love this. Now that I've tried out all the products in the Able Cosmetics Eye Trio set, I think that two out of the three were great. I really only had a big problem when it came to the eyeliner. In terms of streamlining my eye makeup application process, I really think that out of the three, the only one that actually did that was the primary pencil. I can see how a product like this one specifically could streamline everything because you do have the brush immediately attached. You do have a sharpener on hand in case you need it right then and there. I think that if the formula were different on the eyeliner, I would have loved the entire set. I think it would have made like a good argument to be worth the $75, but because it didn't, I don't think I can say that this set is worth $75. However, you can buy these products separately and if you wanted to try out this brand, wanted to see it for yourself, I really recommend these two, the primary pencil and the no mascara worked amazingly well. I thought they were great. It is something that you can easily find cheaper, buying all the pieces separately maybe, but I think the fact that they are together, you have them in one actual product is a really cool idea. Yeah.